This short animated video explains the basic concept of reliability metric. In this video, we'll understand what is this MTTF, that is mean time to failure. We'll also look at what is MTBF, mean time between failure. And last but not the least, what is MTTR, mean time to repair. We'll look at all these three concepts with the help of some practical examples. So please watch this video till the end. To understand these terms, we need to first understand what is reliability and failure. Let us first look at what is reliability. So reliability can be defined as a probability that a product, system or service will perform its intended function adequately for a specified period of time operating in a well-defined operating environment without failure. So here the key is that it will perform its intended function properly without any failure for specified period of time. That is how we define reliability. So reliability is maintaining quality over the period of time. Let's take an example like vehicle or a car, which is one of the largest purchases that most of us make. And if we have to define reliability of a car, then I would define reliability of a car in a way like it is the ability of a vehicle or a car to run consistently without less surprises and surprises can be in the form of a car breakdown, car maintenance, car tire puncture or anything. Reliable cars will hold up well on the road, offer improved safety, get better fuel economy and offer better safety features and will give very consistent without having any unplanned breakdowns. That is how you define the reliability of a car. Now, if we have to define what is failure now. So failure in most basic terms is like the equipment failure we simply talk about, which means a system or a component or a device can no longer produce the desired result. So if is a system or machine is down, it, it means it is failed. And now we have some system metrics like MTTR, MTBF and MTTT. We look at all three one by one in more detail. Mean time between failure. Mean time between failure describes the expected time between two failure for a repairable system. Repairable systems are those which can be repaired. So mean time between failure measures the time it takes one equipment failure to the next time it fails again. It is most common inquiry about the product lifespan. This term MTBF comes from aviation industry where the system failure means particularly major consequences, not only in terms of cost, but also human lives. MTBF is helpful for buyers who want to make sure that they get most reliable product. It is commonly expressed in hours and is equivalent to the expected number of operating hours before a product fails. Mean time between failure measures the time it takes from one equipment failure to the next time it fails again. So this gives you better idea of how long the equipment can stay running without any problem for a given period between two unplanned breakdowns. Higher the MTBF number indicates the higher reliability for product or system. And if your MTBF value is low, it means you are experiencing a large number of breakdowns, which means there is a deeper issue that you need to uncover because equipment failure can be expensive and damaging to the organization. You need to be on top of unexpected breakdowns as much as possible. The equation for calculating MTBF is very simple. It is like total operating time divided by number of failures. Let's take an example here. System should operate correctly for 8 hours in a shift. 
three failures occurred in this shift. Adding all the failures, we have 120 minutes or two hours. So we need to calculate what is MTBF here. So operating time is eight hours is the total shift time, and uh, two hours was the which where we, the machine was failed. So we subtract, we get six, and number of failures that we expect was three. So that means MTBF is two hours here. Mean time to repair. Mean time to repair is a time needed to repair a failed hardware, a hardware that can be repaired. Both these MTBF or MTTF measure time in relation to failure, but the mean time to repair measures something else entirely, like how long it will take to get a failed product running again. That is MTTR. So we can reduce MTTR by having the right person with the right set of tools with right techniques and in right place at right time. MTTR or mean time to repair is expressed in R and does not include a lead time for parts that are not readily available. So for example, if MTTR is 24 hours, is generally more valuable then MTTR of seven days. To avoid MTTR, what does company generally do? They purchase spare products in advance so that the replacement can be done very quickly. Now, how do you calculate MTTR? To calculate, first thing that you need to know is how much time you have spent repairing an asset over a set period of time. So while the MTTR impacts availability, MTBF measures availability and reliability. For example, like electrical appliances like electric iron, washing machine, television are those which when fail, we fix them and put it back in the working condition. So what does this MTTR tells you? It tells you whether you need to repair or replace your product. It is a good tool to help you decide when it is a time to finally stop repairing an asset or replace it with a new one. Trainings. Even the best workforce that you have, no matter how trained they are, they will still have some mistakes. MTTR can highlight the gaps in the training or skills of certain staff members. And last but not the least is the better processes. You can easily spot issues with this asset. Now let us see how do we actually calculate MTTR. The formula is downtime by total number of failures. Let's take in one case here. Imagine that the production line has three devices that went down. The first one was down for four hours, second one for two hours and third one for three hours. Now we need to calculate the mean time to repair. So in this case, the total time spent repairing was 4 plus 2 plus 3. That is total number of hours that you spent. Number of devices was 3. So we divide 9 by 3. So MTTR comes as 3 hours. So that is, we first need to calculate the total downtime and divide it by the total number of failures. So that is the mean time to repair. Mean time to failure. So mean time to failure is a time expected until the first failure of the piece of equipment is expected. Or in other words, it is a mean time the device remain operation before it fails. It is quite similar to MTBF. But difference here is that in between in MTBF metric indicates that you can repair the device after it fails. But repairable system can fail seven times while non-repairable can only fail once. There is an average lifespan of a given device. Mean time of failure is calculated by adding up the lifespan of all the devices and dividing by their counts. It is a basic measure of reliability for non-repairable systems like bulk and should be as long as possible. Obviously, the longer the MTTF lesser the company has to spend on replacing that device or asset. 
for example this light bulb we can make light bulb and start using it and we expect it to last for 5 to 10 years but when it breaks we throw them we don't repair them these bulbs and we get a new one right for this is a non repairable type of system so what does this uh, mttf tells you it helps you to in invent defining your inventory lead time understanding your mttf can help you plan for replacement equipments making sure that you are never short of new equipments quality control mttf that gets shorter and shorter can be indicator of a quality issue from your suppliers misuse of equipments as with quality control the change to your mttf can be an indication that users are not using equipment correctly now let us see how do we calculate mttf let's take an example that production line has total of three machine of same kind machine one is completely failed at 5200 hours machine two at 4200 hours machine three at 5600 hours now we need to calculate mttf so the total lifespan of machine is if we add all the uh, lifespan of machine 1 2 and 3 we get 15000 total number of machines is 3 so mttf would be 15000 divided by 3 that is 15 5000 hours right so that will be 5000 hours of mttf let's take another example suppose that we test three hard drives First one failed at 5000 hours, second one at 6000 hours, and third one at 7000 hours. Now we need to calculate FTTF. So we add up all the lifespan of devices. Divided by 3, we get 18,000. Divided by 3, we get 6,000. So 6,000 is your MTTF here. Now let us see some uh, graphical display of how are the relationship between these three metrics. Now let us try to understand all three on a single plane. So assuming that we have first failure of a device, we start repairing our device and we put some efforts and put it back into shape. And this is the main time to repair. And once the device is in a normal operating position, that means after repairing, it is put back into system. It is working fine. And after some time, it will again have some second failure. So this time that we call it mean time to failure when the first second failure again occurs after repairing it. And the total time that we call it from the first failure to the second failure is the mean time between failure. And after second failure, you can start repairing your device again. That is all I have on this topic of MTPF, MTTTF and MTTR. If you like it, please share it with all your friends. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Telegram. The links are given at the bottom of this video. Thank you.